Hey, what's going on guys? Critical here back with another video and in this video we are actually on Skyblock Utopia. Now this season is going to be quite different than last season. We didn't put as much content on Skyblock last season, but that is okay. We are going to be trying to put out more this season, so look forward to that. Now moving on, OP Legends is actually giving away two Legend Ranks as well as a Razor Kraken headset. So you guys can go over to their Twitter and enter that. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Now let's move on to some of the changes they've made for this season. Now one of the biggest changes as you guys can see is probably by the scoreboard and what they've talked about in the trailer is UHD Skyblock. So you'll no longer be able to just have full health and not worry about dying. Now you'll only be able to regen by eating golden apples, not god apples, and instant health potions. As well as if you die you'll lose uh, I think it was half of each of your balances. Now, I don't know about you, but that's going to be a little scary. Not knowing if I'll die and how many times I've died in the mines in the previous season, I'm going to be pretty broke. Moving on to another feature they have added for this season is the slash battle pass. Now, the battle pass is going to work quite different. And this season is going to work very different compared to the previous season. Now, farming is going to be a lot more rewarding as you can get, you know, the wheat seeds only through the battle pass, which there is a free edition of the battle pass. As you guys can see, there's a paid version where you get slightly more stuff as well as a free version, which is still good in my opinion. Like, it's not anything game changing to have a paid version, I would say. They have the new competition feature. Now, if you go slash comp, these different competitions will last eight hours. Now there'll be three different sessions of those eight hour competitions to allow other players from different time zones, say Australian or UK or stuff like that, to be able to participate in these competitions and have a fair chance at being able to win. Now with each section of competitions, you'll be able to get third, second and first and getting your corresponding trophies, which is different to the uh, it's different to the old competitions from last season and the old uh, ga or IS top. Now it's different from last season's competitions and IS top system because they work alongside each other now instead of differently. And competitions really just kind of gave rewards instead of giving you trophies. And trophies kind of went off of XP last season. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this all plays out. And I hope it turns out for the best. Now... Now moving on, something else they have changed is the slash mine. Now if I head on over to warp mine, you guys can see there is a new mine here. I don't think there's anything behind here. Well then, that probably will be fixed. Now moving into the mine, we have the new mine area. Now, like I said, the battle pass is new, but the mines are also going to be interesting because they're not going to be economy based. Now, the mines will allow you to be able to complete some of your battle pass uh, quests or challenges, as you will. I can't even spell battle pass today. That's awful. So if we go into battle pass again, as you guys can see, mine 50 blocks and warp mine. That means you have to mine 50 of those blocks in here to be able to unlock the next challenge. Now, as you guys can see, all these challenges are in progress. So if I throw on my armor and then I start mining some of these ores, can I mine them? I cannot mine them. Okay, this isn't fully set up yet, so I can't. Oh, I can. I can showcase. Can I showcase? Does it work? It does not work. Well, that is a shame. But um, essentially, you'll mine 50 blocks in the mine and you will be able to finish your challenge. Now, if we look at our battle pass, for the first challenge, we got to make a cobblestone generator and mine 250 cobblestone. So if we go IS Go, this is our island from last season. They haven't changed any of this data yet, but it will be reset. Do not worry. So if we set up a cobblestone generator really quickly and go in slash shop, grab a water bucket, a lava bucket, and I did that in reverse. There's our ghasts. Don't worry about those. Okay, so now if we go over here and create ourselves a cobblestone generator, we have a lava and water bucket now. 
So we're gonna quickly mine up some of these blocks here and then we can actually make ourselves a cobblestone generator. Now I don't know if I can buy signs from the shop. I can, okay, perfect. So this will actually allow us to go like so and then we can go underneath and then if we go like this, that should in theory make a cobblestone generator, yes. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna mine some cobblestone from here and we gotta mine about 250 of it. So let me see if it actually uh, battle pass. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've mined 17 cobblestone. So essentially you just need to mine cobblestone. Now if I go slash kit, I can actually throw on a Neptune kit to make, make or a Zeus kit, sorry, to make this a little bit faster. So as you guys can see, you can set up a little cobblestone generator, mine yourself some cobblestone, and get that sorted out so you can finish that challenge. I'm not going to do that all, obviously, just because it would take forever. <laughs> now, the next challenge is vote three times. We can simply do that. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so now if we go slash skills, as you can see, they are no longer attached to your tools. They are now attached to your player. Meaning you don't have to worry about what tools you're using because it's not on the tool anymore. <laughs> That's going to be definitely better because I know last season I ran into the issue of having Fortune 2. Or a previous season in having Fortune 2 and then I had to get Fortune 3 and then I had to restart my pickaxe and it was a long process. I'm not going to go into that anymore. But also if, as you guys can see there's a new skill called Fishing. Now I will show that off to you just because... I think it's pretty cool. Income actually showed me this before. So I, I wanna make sure I can show this to you guys cause it was pretty cool if I do say so myself. So if we go slash craft here, we'll craft ourselves a fishing rod. And then we'll go over to slash spawn. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I can't really find any water at spawn but I'm gonna try and show off this new fishing feature we also got Tom and Kron at spawn. I definitely pronounced your name wrong. I'm sorry. But I don't know how this will work. I'm trying to make sure I can show this for you guys because I'm not really sure. It. I don't think that's going to work. Okay, guys. So we are at an area where we can fish. I found the area where income was showing it off. Now, this is the new fishing skill. And it's going to work pretty interestingly. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it to pop up. And there it is. Now this will pop up on your screen and depending on where you get it will depend on the high or the tier of reward. Now I, I lost that fish. I'm going to have to retry. If you obviously don't reel it in, you're not going to get the fish. But if we can get that again, then depending on what you, what area you right click it at will depend on your reward. Now I got seaweed. Not so good. I don't think it's not horrible, but we'll try that again and see if we can get something better. We'll see if I can show that for you guys. Okay, so as you guys can see, I, th I got $15,000, which isn't bad, but it's not that good considering the rewards you could get. Now, I'm not really sure what seaweed sells for. I don't think it's really in the shop yet, so I will have to... Uh, obviously, they're probably changing the system or like what reward you get. I'm not 100% sure. None of this is kind of set in stone yet, I don't believe, so... Just keep that in mind when you're watching this. It could be different on release. I'm not sure. But that's the new fishing skill. Honestly, I think that's pretty cool. And pretty unique that you can kind of decide your reward based on your reaction time. I guess you could say. Now, I think I've gone about just... I think I've gone over just about everything for the release. Okay guys, so that is where I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys did all enjoy. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the uh, the April crate as it's not currently set up yet on this Skyblock server. So I can't really show that off yet. So you guys are gonna have to find out on release. But I hope you guys did all enjoy. Make sure to check out Skyblock Utopia, like I said, this Saturday at 3 p.m. AST as well as make sure to enter that Twitter giveaway for the two legend ranks as well as the Razor Kraken headset. Hope you guys did all enjoy once again. I'll see you guys all next time. And as always, peace out.